name is Lucy Madeline, and I'm a conceptual artist. Um, I live and work in Los Angeles, and um, my work falls into the category of I'm multidisciplinary. So what happens is I work on developing a concept, and then whatever media I need to articulate that concept, I execute that media. So I primarily work in sculpture, experimental video, painting, and photography, and performance work. A lot of my sculpture is time-based and ephemeral, meaning that I install it at that one moment and then it's, I take it down and it doesn't exist anymore. And the only record of it is in the documentation. And that has its roots in ancient shamanism in that the, oftentimes the images that were on the cave walls were paintings of the ritual or paintings of the moment of, the, of import in the shamanic rite and they were recorded on the walls as a way of preserving the magic after the ritual had been performed. One of the first things I noticed was that time was different here and that sometimes it was very slow and sometimes it was very, very fast. And because I don't have the usual routine of my life that breaks up and measures my day, everything that I usually account for in the passage of time is gone and my relationship to it is changing. And it comes the question of, you know, when is it time to work? When is it time to go? When is it time to stay? When is it time to walk? When is it time to sleep? When is it time to eat? And that my relationship to time is getting back into the cosmic time and natural time. And something that I'm very interested in and that is being forced upon me here very aggressively. It's been, a, it's been an aggressive struggle and dialogue that I've had with myself with this idea of time, you know, the month of the residency and watching the days go by and, you know, and then I found a quote from Beatrice who, where she says basically that she takes great refuge in the fact that scientists are saying that there's no such thing as time. And so I'm articulating in this work, ideas of measurement, of passage of time, and of space as containment because of the space that I'm in in Happy Valley and the space that I'm in of um, Beatrice and Rosalind and the, the history, that the history and the time, that notion of what's come before me, the history of the land is so important. There's so many themes of time. And I think if, any, if there's anything that Beatrice has to teach me right now as a young artist working in her studio, it's how are you spending your time? What are you thinking about? What are the clocks that I'm watching? And what is the sound of their ticking? And what are they saying? Where am I in time? I think the age of 17 and 18, the age of the students in the class at Besant Hill, at the Besson Hill School is a fundamentally important age in the development of an individual and the development of an artist. And what I really wanted to impress upon them is that they are the ones who know that, you know, as you enter the institutions of the art world and you go into art schools and you just, you want to be a good artist and you want to be a good student and it can be so easy to lose sight of the fact that it's the new artists, it's the young artists who have the secrets, who are making the discoveries. It's the emerging artists who have found the things that have we've come to, to tell the world. The only thing I really can do, and the only thing I ever need to really think about is, what do I need to do today so that when I go to bed tonight, I can say that my life today was meaningful and it was worth it. It was worth it to live today. And that's where my practice of art making comes in. Making work is the way I embody my life with meaning. It's the thing that gives me a way through the day. And my mother told me that Beatrice Wood said to her, my dear, you have to be good for something because you can't be good for nothing. And I believe that, I believe that I have to be good for something. My day has to have been good for something.